Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming. My name is Brenna. I work for Food Bank for New York City as a community nutritionist and also for Just Say Yes to Fruits and Vegetables. Our program is brought by Snap Ed uh, from New York City. And uh, today we're going to be talking about the benefits of fruits and vegetables, why it's important, uh, the daily recommendation. We're going to be doing a food demo using fruits and vegetables. Actually, it's going to be a nice recipe. And for those kind of recipes that we always do a demo, uh, unfortunately, we're doing Zoom, which is also great. But when we do on, on site, I don't know how many of you guys had the, the opportunity to uh, taste some of the recipes. We have more recipes like that. If you Google, just say yes to fruits and vegetables, you're going to find more recipes like that, just like that. Just say yes to fruits and vegetables. Dot com. And uh, we always have like simple, nutritious, and you're going to see from um, different recipes. Um, and I love to do recipes uh, from using fruits and vegetables that are, you know, from the season, which we, we always get much, much more nutrition. They are also cheaper and also is easy to find, right? Um, now we don't have much farmer's market anymore, but just a few is still open, but most of the farmer's market are not uh, open anymore. But we have a lot of, you know, from your local clothes market, you're gonna find a lot of nice fruits and vegetables and try to, to use from like local stores, local um, vegetables from, you know, the local uh, farmers. It's always nice to support them and I can guarantee that they have much more flavor than the fruits that comes from other parts, right? And okay, so today we're gonna be talking about fruits and vegetables. I will do a food demo and we're gonna discuss. I will now share my screen. Let me know if you can see. Please, if you wanna participate, you're free to do it. You can use the little hand and raise your hands or just raise your hands that I'm going to give you the opportunity. But I think everyone has, oh, Miriam's coming back. Okay. Everyone has um, um, your microphone is on, right? It's not mute. Can you guys see? Yes. All right. So today... Uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about the fruits and vegetables, the benefits. Also, like I said, for more recipes like that, you can always visit us as, at Just Say Yes to Fruits and Veggies for more nutrition tips, articles, um, recipes, videos, okay? And much more information how to get uh, my plate plan which is a great way to know if you know, you know, to have a balanced diet. So why we should eat more fruits and vegetables? How much fruits and vegetables we should eat every day? Like the daily recommendation. How can we add more fruits and vegetables to our meals and how to become more physically active, which is very important, a very important lifestyle um, way to keep healthy, right? To keep you healthy. So let's focus on whole fruits and vegetables. We know that it's very nice to have fruits and veg uh, juice, fruits and vegetable juices, but most of them sometimes is too expensive to buy, or sometimes you need a little more, it's more expensive to make, or it's sometimes more expensive to buy most of the time as well. And we don't get the benefit of fiber. That's why it's better to focus on, uh, focus on whole fruits and whole vegetables because we're gonna get all the fiber. And it's so important to have, you know, this process of chewing your food and also vary your veggies. Like I said, try to use, uh, you know, um, from the season, like we have from the season now, um, all the green leaves like kale, collard greens, cabbage, broccoli, okay? What else? Butternut squash, okay? Uh, each day, 
the daily recommendation is five servings of fruits and vegetables. For vegetables, we need two servings and, uh, I'm sorry, fruits, two servings, and vegetables, three servings. So how are you gonna get that? Five cups of fruits and vegetables. Of course, it seems maybe a little too much, but if you think about your breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you can uh, spread on your day. And also you can have as a healthy snack, is always a healthy snack, fruit is always a nice way to make sure, you know, you can, you're gonna save money when you grab something, um, when you go out, instead of eating something, you can always take something with you, like a banana, apple, any kind of fruits that you can, you know, have um, ready to go. And also something very important is to have different colors of fruits and vegetables, okay? Different colors, we're gonna get different kind of vitamins and minerals. A lot of, yeah, eat like a raven. Make half of your plate of fruits and vegetables. Uh, the other half is going to be your protein and your um, whole grains, right? But a half of your plate should have, you should have fruits and vegetables. Is the best way, even better than supplements, because your body is easy to absorb those fruits and uh, vitamins and minerals that we have um, in this beautiful, colorful rainbow of colors. And something that I like to tell people is that all forms count. So I know we, we're going to try to have, uh, it's all, always nice to have fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. But remember, it's better to have frozen if you don't have fresh, but you have frozen counts. And if you don't have frozen, but you have canned counts, okay? The most important thing is to have your fruits and vegetables. It doesn't matter what kind of form, okay? So fresh, frozen, canned fruits and vegetables, dry, they are all good for you, okay? Eat a rainbow. So like I said, um, dry is convenient because that has like um, a long shelf life, okay? Uh, fresh is best for the flavor, nutrition, and when it's in season, even better. Frozen is convenient, and also we don't lose the nutrition from the frozen fruits, okay, and vegetables. Sometimes people think that it's not, they're not getting enough fruit, uh, vitamins and minerals from the frozen fruits and vegetables, but actually it is shortly after they pick, they, you know, the, after the harvest, they freeze it. They have like, uh, you know, a process to do. So to keep as much as they can, you know, as much as can, they uh, keep the fruits and uh, vitamins and minerals. That's why you're gonna get, yes, you're gonna get nutrition in all kinds of forms of fruits and vegetables, okay? And also, um, let's do a little activity now. I want you to um, read a little bit each one of the, the columns with um, different kind of colors, right? We have purple, green, white, brown, yellow, orange, and red. Like I said, all kind of color, we have something different to keep your body strong, okay? All the colors can help. It doesn't have one specific color that is gonna give you all the, the vitamins and minerals that you need. So, and it's gonna, it's gonna be very, like the big benefits it is to keep your body strong, right? To have like, um, your, your immune system is gonna be, is gonna protect your, immun your immunity and also help a lot to lower the risk of some, some cancers. Um, and um, also is gonna help you to maintain a healthy body weight. So, if you have a little, if you wanna like just think or have a little note and I can also, I will email this handout, okay? Oh, good. I email the handout to Olivia and Olivia can email to you guys. Oh, so okay. think about the blue and purple colors. How often, how often do you eat those fruits and vegetables? Green now, how often? the fruits and vegetables, what kind of fruits and vegetables that is like green that you have, or when you go to the market, you buy it, something that you all, you have. 
Aguacate. Sorry? Aguacate. Avocate, avocado, sim, avocado. <laughs> I love it. I have it in my fridge now. <laughs> White and brown. So we have bananas, dates, dates which is like dry, but we do have a lot of nutrients that we don't, we cannot, uh, it is more available, it becomes available one, with the process of drying, okay, the dates. Uh, raisins like pastas, uh, dates, okay, uh, which is like dry. Do you guys all speak Spanish too? Yes. Yes. Okay, I can do both. Of, or you guys understand both of both of you know, how we, because the presentation is in English. But of course, we can do a little Spanish if you prefer. That's okay. That's okay. Okay. Nice. So veggies like garlic. Uh, we still in white and brown, garlic, mushrooms, cauliflower, onions. Uh, we have um, this Mexican, um, they say it's fruit, but I think it's kind of a veggie. It's a root, chicama, chimaca, chimaca. Help me. What they call in Spanish. That's mm -hmm. it, chimaca? Chimaca, I guess. No. Uh, okay, so that's probably we call this probably something else in in, in in you know in our language maybe. Okay, it's J I M A C A. Well, if I could, we could see it, then we would know what we call yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, it's white and it's great, and I know we have in U.S. because they import from you know they say uh, in English. You don't know, say in English. <laughs> Oh, I don't oh. know. Is uh, I think they keep calling the same name in Spanish, which is in Spanish, chica. Okay. Chica. What color? It's white. It looks like a root. White. Um, white. Okay. It's, it is white. So I'm sure it is the the you know has similar nutrients of the same thing that you're gonna find in garlic and mushroom. It's a little sweet. It reminds me a little bit celery. The taste, how to not the texture. Okay. Mm. But yeah, so uh, <laughs> yellow and orange, we're going to get a lot of vitamin C mm. uh, and also vitamin A from those um, fruits and vegetables uh, with this color. Mm -hmm. we, are, we have a, the season off for butternut squash, uh, some different kind of squashes, right? Especially uh, butternut squash. And carrots we have all year long. How about fruits? We have apricots, uh, apricots. Cantaloupe is more summer. Mangoes also, nectarines, orange, papayas, which is not tropical, is a tropical fruit. So uh, <coughs> apples and lemons. Red, apples, it is season for apples. It's still season for apples. Or, uh, we have from fall, right? We still have a lot. Cherries, cranberries is also season for cranberries. Grapefruit grapes in general, raspberries, strawberries, watermelon, uh, veggies, big po red potatoes, reddish. Uh, we have the sweet potatoes as well. Outside is red, inside is kind of like um, yellowish, like, right? Mm -hmm. And we have also orange and peppers, red peppers, red bell peppers. Blue bark, bark as well. Is it, um, kind of like celery, right? Mm. So think about those colors. If you're not having or not buying, you're not having often, it is your homework to look at this, this uh, uh, handout, okay, this chart, and try to, to have as much as you can all the colors, okay? So choose, you know, like the blue, purple, green, white, brown, yellow, orange, and red. We need to have this nice, colorful, um, a nice and colorful plate to make sure you're getting enough vitamins and minerals. This is the best way to keep you healthy. Now more than ever, we never know what kind of, you know, I don't want to scare you guys, but we never know what's going to happen next, right? We need to be, to keep your body strong enough. So now is... This is a nice way. My plate is a beautiful way 
to make sure you have, you're following a balanced diet. For example, a healthy eating um, plan, you have to focus on whole fruits and vegetables, like I mentioned before, vary your veggies. And uh, for example, like I do, what I do, I always have one kind of, um, it is like a vegetable protein. Like one day, one week I have lentils and for two or three days and black beans for another two or three days, right? For my week. And the same thing you can do with your veggies. Sometimes for veggies, I have spinach for a few days. Like I'm gonna be doing a spinach salad a beautiful that you can use for a holiday salad as a holiday salad. Okay, today I'm gonna teach you guys and has veggies and fruits together and it looks beautiful. Okay, and also is a health is a nice way to make sure you're getting like colors, different colors in your salad. So sometimes I yeah, like I was saying, spinach and then you can have cabbage um, and or uh, collard greens. You can prepare a good amount for two or three days, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is a way to <clears throat> vary your veggies. What you can do is always um, do as much as you can do some prep before to make sure you're gonna get your fruits and veggies. Another way is uh, we're gonna give you like 10, now 10 tips to help you uh, to increase your fruits, fruits and vegetables in your meals. Number one, Fire up the grill. Now it's not, of course, you maybe can do this inside, but you can, you can use the grill uh, to cook your veggies and fruits, or you can use your oven or even a stove, it's okay. Just for example, add mushrooms, onions, bell peppers, zucchini, or now for now we're gonna use the fruits and vegetables from the season, right? Uh, and brush with a little oil, just, you know, to uh, to keep from drying out the veggies and fruits. I don't do with my fruits. I've done before without oil is nice. You can maybe just put a little bit in your grill, a little oil, right? Take your casserole to the next level by what? And mix, you can use mixed vegetables such as onions. Sometimes, for example, um, what I like to do is also buying frozen veg veggies. I bought it uh, yesterday at Costco. You can buy in other stores, but for example, they have these big bags. I'm gonna open the bags and put in small bags, Ziploc bags, right? And then I'm gonna add these veggies on my rice, pasta, soup, you know, or even salad, isn't it? Even like a steamed salad, vegetable salad, okay? So this is another way that you can always add to your favorite dishes, fruits and vegetables, okay? Planning something Italian, but like I mentioned, you can do your fat, pasta dish. I know a lot of people love pasta. I love pasta. So uh, pasta is nice also, and it looks even more attractive when you add more colors like bell peppers, spinach, red beans. I like to put zucchini when, I, when it's in season. Um, yeah, anything, anything that is, you know, different colors. Get creative with your salad. You can toss, um, you know, some shredded carrots with this orange and then you look for another color, like green color from peas and then orange or tangerines, strawberries or other seasonal fruits or vegetable, okay? To make a fruit and vegetable salad all together, okay? Another way, I'm sorry, it is, um, yeah, the salad bars aren't just for vegetables. You can always add some fruits, um, beans, eggs, uh, you know, low fat dairy um, as a topping. And also I like to, to encourage you guys to have as a topping uh, seeds and nuts it is a nice way to increase your fiber intake. And also it has this crunchy um, texture, which is nice to, as a nice combination with your salads, with your veggies. Also, I already mentioned how I do sometimes a stir fry um, veggies with my rice 
with my pasta, right? With my, I just add in my soups and you can do a casserole or you can do um, pie. Well, you can add veggies in different ways in many ways, right? Uh, sandwiches, for example, my husband doesn't like much vegetables, but if I do a nice um, lunch sandwich with, uh, and I add all like green leaves, mixed uh, leaves, mixed green leaves, he, he can eat it all, okay? So if I do like two or three and I pack with leaves, this is a nice way also if you don't like just to eat the vegetable alone, okay? Try hummus, cucumbers, or avocados, guacamole, pico de gallo, okay? This is a very nice way also. Be creative with your breakfast. I love to have a savory breakfast, like I can have rice and beans in the morning and pico de gallo with guacamole or just avocado, abacate, like that. And it's very nice, okay? I don't know about you guys, but I do like to have a savory dish with my breakfast. I'm okay with sweets, but I prefer savory, okay, in the morning if it's possible. So this is also a nice way to add fruits, uh, veggies also with your meals. Smoothies, okay? You can make a smoothie. You can make a, uh, you can treat you with a nice, you can, you know, blend or sometimes when I go to the market and I have like frozen, it has like, um, is on sale like strawberries and we know it's gonna, it's gonna, um, it spoils very easy, right? So what I do is I can buy a good amount because sometimes like it's on sale, two or three um, little, little packets, right? Uh, for like $5, it's like good deal. I just clean it and freeze it. Bananas, the same thing you can do with bananas. Bananas, uh, especially now because of the heater, all the fruits, they get ripe um, quicker than before, right? Uh, what happened with uh, uh, Loretta? She left? Yeah, I guess she was here. I'm here. You hear? Oh, I cannot see you, Loretta. I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> stay there. Thank you. <laughs> I don't see he, I don't see you on the screen. That's it. I don't see me because I have to look at it close. It's okay. Feel comfortable. Yes. Don't worry. You don't have to appear. It's just because I don't see your video, but you're there. Thank oh, you. Okay. You could scroll. Yeah. You could scroll and see her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so, no, I'm off. Okay. So also you can boost the colors and textures in your morning, uh, adding adding omelette, um, vegetables in your omelette, okay? Or you can do a different kind of, like I said, um, in the morning, your avocado with a little, um, with a little pico de gallo, adding tomatoes, onions, cilantro, green onions, spinach. I do like to, um, sometimes I use tofu, but I have seen before, people before um, doing an omelette, and adding fresh spinach, just like that, like the baby spinach, okay? And you add in your omelette with some tomatoes. Actually, this is a nice uh, picture showing that, you know, they add the spinach on the omelette and has some tomatoes as well. So this is a nice way to uh, start your, your, your um, breakfast, like starting your day thinking about, I need to, to achieve my five servings of fruits and vegetables so it's nice to start in the morning. So you know already that maybe you can have two or three in the morning. So in your lunchtime, you have another two and that's it. You don't even have to worry about dinner time, but dinner time, of course, you can add more fruits and vegetables as well, okay? So also a nice way to keep you healthy, it is to uh, do physical activity, okay? Um, any kind of physical activity is very helpful, okay? Any type of physical activity. And the good thing is, um, okay, the recommendation is two and a half hours a week. Of course, and sometimes it looks a lot, but if you do like, for example, everything that you do, yesterday my husband was tell telling me, 
you have to do more because I tell him, I don't want to, I don't like to go by myself. So when he's not, you know, he's not here to go with me, he's not, he's working or doing something. I don't like, I'm a little lazy to do by myself. Of course, it's nice to have a partner to do it, right? But you know, he was saying, why don't you go and your break in the morning, you take a little break and you go, you know, around your, around the block. Yeah. So I don't have time to go. Over. But actually it's very nice idea. Mm-hmm. You can do, uh, you know, around your block for 15, 20 minutes. And if you do after lunchtime or, you know, after like in the afternoon, another 15, 20 minutes, you have already 40 minutes. And if you do five times a week, 30 minutes, it is half your week, weekly. I used, to, I used to do before winter crashed and <laughs> I was doing three miles every nice. day. Wow. That's good. Yeah. So now uh, I can't do much because I had surgery. So um, oh. until I recover, you know, so right. I, I can't, uh, I'm limited. <laughs> of course. Yes, yes, yes. I, oh, yeah. do, I, I do. You know what I do? I do sometimes put on music and uh, all the time I'm, I put on music, but I move a little, you know, here and there. (laughs) You know, everything counts. Like when you do vacuum, when you sweep the floor, I like to mention that this lady that I was doing a workshop and this lady had like a knee surgery, knee problems. She could not do much exercise. And, but her doctor told told her, you know, try to find something that you like to do uh, to keep you moving and, um, you know, and also to make your heart bump a little faster. Yeah. Because el corazón es un músculo. If mm. you don't use, you lose. So that's yeah. why you have to, you know, exercise your your um your heart as well to prevent some heart problems. And you know, it's gonna be easier for you to recover yeah. from some Very kind important. of you know health problems. Uh huh. Okay. But uh, yes. So what this lady did since she could not do much. She was going to a park close to her house and she was sweeping the, fo- uh, sweeping the floor for one hour, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, as long as she could, like many times during the week. This is a good idea. So you can sweep the floor of your neighborhood, right? Mm-hmm. There's no floor, sorry, the sidewalk. Now with the snow, so you can, you know, take the clean the snow it is a lot, it is a good exercise, I'm telling you, okay, so Mm -hmm. do something that, of course, you have to follow your doctor's doctor's recommendation, something that's not going to hurt you, Mm -hmm. but it is so important, you know, to keep your body healthy, and Mm -hmm. also, just as a reminder for you guys, fruit and vegetables come in many forms, different colors and forms, and also try to vary your fruits and vegetable choices, so remember of the raven and have like the arco-iris. Tintas colores in tu plato. La mitad de tu plato tiene que ser frutas y vegetales. Okay. Always the half of your plate, you should have fruits and vegetables. Right? And also, um, why is important? I, I used to say that um, it doesn't make sense you buy something that's gonna be not good for your body. Like, um, and when you buy fruits and vegetables, I'm sure it's gonna make you feel good. And if you're not used to, of course you can start to do some dishes uh, and recipes that you like better. And I always encourage people, when you go to the market, you find some fruits or vegetables that you never tried before. Today, you can Google just say yes to fruits and vegetables. Okay, or, uh, and you can try to find this vegetable or fruits to, to do a recipe if you're not familiar with the fruit, with this fruit or this vegetable. And remember, uh, um, besides of how it, you know, it's gonna taste nice, it's gonna provide you the importance vitamins and minerals, which helps to prevent certain diseases. A lot of, you know, it's gonna help you with chronic diseases as well. And to make half of your plate 
like I said, the, everything you eat and drink over time matters. Yes, so be careful with, uh, uh, you know, the beverages, you know, sugary beverages, it can, uh, it, it does matter um, and can also affect your health in general. Being healthy includes healthy eating and like we mentioned now, physical activity. So now we're gonna be doing our um, recipe. We're gonna make a nice recipe. Let me just uh, be ready. I have my table on my table. I have my ingre the ingredients for this recipe. It is a nice, let me stop sharing, hold on. Okay, can you guys see me now? Yes. Okay, I'm going to the table. Okay, I love this recipe. It is a spinach salad. Oh, you guys cannot see my face. Hold on. Let's see if they look a little bit. Okay, I think it's going to be good now. Can you guys hear me well? Yes. yes. Hope you can see me now. Oh, good. Let me read the recipe and don't worry, we're gonna share with you guys the handout with the recipe, with the 10 tips and the colors for your health. The one that has like all the colors with fruits and vegetables in different colors, okay? Okay, Marina, oh, I know you yes. like it. I'm gonna share for all of you. Okay. Um, okay, for this recipe, we need a bag or this kind of container, um, little spinach. package with baby spinach. Spinacas, okay. I like the mini spinach, why? The uh, baby, not mini, baby spinach. And we do have a, like a smaller than baby spinach, which is very delicate and very nice for this salad. I bought this at a stop and shop. You can buy in any kind of market close to your house, okay? And also we need a quart of, uh, un, un quarto, one quart of cup of almonds. You know, the like in rabanadas, it's sliced almonds. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you don't have almonds, you can use other nuts, okay? Um, two cups of sliced uh, apples, which is in season, and spinach is also always available, right? One cup of pom um, granadas, pomegranate, okay? Pomegranate. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys use it before, you cut in a half. Today, I'm, I like to use this, I bought it yesterday with, for a good price. It is a little cup, it comes like four cups, sometimes you can buy in some markets, they're gonna uh, give you um, different, um, they have available different kind of, um, like with eight ounces, 16, 12 ounces, with already, you know, all ready to use. And it's fresh, it's not frozen, it's fresh. So yesterday for my dinner, I had one full cup. It's just easier. You don't have, sometimes when you open, you don't use all, what happened? It, it you know, okay. it actually is not, it does, is, is not easy to, to spoil, but it's just easier like that. If you have a chance to buy like that, okay, but you can buy the fruit as well. And you can also freeze it. So spinach has a lot of minerals, uh, vitamins and minerals like potassium, um, fiber, and granadas, pomegranate is also a good source of vitamin C, okay? It's good for your, um, you know, to prevent and also fight cold and flu. And also what else we need? We need the seasonings. The seasonings is gonna be balsamic vinaigrette. I'm gonna do my own balsamic vinaigrette using vinaigrette, any kind of, you know, you can buy the balsamic vinaigrette or you can do your own using a little uh, balsamic vinegar and olive oil. And with uh, my, I will add a little garlic powder and uh, uh, salt, okay? 
Okay, let's do it. I have all the ingredients here. I washed my hand before and all the veggies are clean as well, of course. I have uh, my red onions here. We don't need a lot of, okay? I'm gonna try to do a nice garnish my salad. What you can do also that I uh, hardly recommend, sometimes uh, you do a good amount. I actually learned with my mom. She never seasoned her salad. She always do a salad dressing besides, right? So it's gonna keep your veggies, it's gonna keep you, um, you're gonna have like, uh, it's gonna keep you longer for a long time, right? Because the season is gonna, uh, you know. Make it wilt, starts to wilt. <laughs> Sorry? Starts to wilt. <laughs> right, so that's why to keep you, especially because we're gonna garnish the salad. Let me show you guys how I would do it. I will make like a bed with my baby spinach, okay? I'm not gonna do, of course, for your, if you have like, depends the size of your family, you can use a big um, container, but I'm gonna use just this plate, which is gonna be good for me and my hubby, okay? A nice bed with your, any kind of green leaves, but today we're using baby spinach, okay? And then apples. You can use your, um, for this recipe, you can use uh, also apples, any kind of apples. To cut your apples, you can use mandoline or knife. I have like this uh, small, medium-sized knife. Okay. So cut and a half your, uh, your apple. And what I do, I do like in slices. So you're gonna cut in a half, and then you're gonna make slices like that. Let me show you guys the slices, just like that. See how you did? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's gonna be more delicate and easy to chew and easy, you know, to keep. It's nice, and it's a nice way to absorb also the dressing. And. Let me do. And of course, to keep the nice color, your onions, um, your onions, no, I'm sorry, your uh, apples with this nice color, you can always use a lemon, sprinkle a little lemon, just a little bit, just to keep the nice white color to don't oxidate and change the color, right? Of your apples. I'm gonna spend a little lemon, fresh lemon juice, or orange juice as well. Anything with uh, secret citric acid helps. Okay, so I have my um, apples ready. You make. Uh, it's nice also to take just the middle, uh, the little seeds from your apples, right? Before you do that. I will garnish our salad here. Mm -hmm. So I'm just making a little kind of a garland with uh, my apples. Okay, I hope you guys like it and trying to do for your, if you commemorate Christmas is a nice salad for Christmas, okay? Because of the colors. Okay. And you get your fruits and vegetables intake as well. So now onions, right? One quart of cup, uh, one quart of cup of onions, which is I'm using the red onions. The way that I cut is just cut in a half, and then you cut slices like that. Okay, slices like that. 
as well. Mm-hmm. Little moons. Half moons. And then I like to just spread a little beam. If you don't like it, you can. A uh, good way to make sure that sometimes the onions can be a little too, a bit spicy, is also doing the same process I did. I mean, you can add, you can uh, marinate with a little lemon juice and olive oil. Not a lot of uh, olive, uh, I mean, and even a little salt. If you're not you're okay with salt, you can put a little salt and lemon juice. It's gonna take some of the color of the, uh, the onions, but it's gonna make a little less acid, uh, uh, spicy, okay? So onions, and then, um, so you're gonna do separate your balsamic vinaigrette. Do a head, you can add a little uh, lemon juice as, as well if you want it. Just gonna put a little bit of um, salt and garlic powder. If you wanna use onion powder, you're also okay to use it. Just gonna put a bit of and and the um, almonds, the pomegranate. Okay, all right. You know, something that I do recommend people to do is like uh, for your almonds. So this is gonna be your Christmas salad. One of your Christmas salads, very nice. So you have the apples, the um, spinach, onions, okay. And nice. also um, the uh, pomegranate seeds, okay. So also it's nice if you uh, use a little, um, if you toast or you roast a little bit your almonds to give a nice, uh, you know, uh, just, you don't have to put any oil, just use the, the um, fry pan with no oil, nothing, and add your almonds to roast a little bit. It's gonna relieve some of the oil from the, so that's why it's gonna be more crunchy and tasty. Okay, so don't add any oil. All the nuts are a good source of oil. They're going to release a little oil as you, just a little bit, you even don't notice much as you do this process on the fry pan, okay? And then you can let cool down a little bit and add your, in your salad. So this is very simple. Like I said, we don't usually, we do recipes which is like simple, healthy, um, tasty and uh, nutritious and also cheap recipes for you guys using fruits and vegetables. I, ho I hope you guys like it. I'm gonna mm -hmm. eat a little bit of my salad. I love the salad. I'm not pretending I like it because I really do. <laughs> and it's a nice way to, to get your, you know, different colors. So I have here white, red, what else? Which color I have here? Right, mm -hmm. white, red, green, mm -hmm and a little purple from the onions, mm -hmm. right? I will send nice. also, I have, I don't know if I have a picture. Let me see if I can share with you guys one of my screen. Because yeah, I can uh, just send the picture and maybe Olivia can share with you guys also uh, this recipe I did this, let's see, let's see if I can show you. I took a picture and it was so cute. It's just like that. And of course, if you make with a big plate, it's gonna be even better. Could it close so I could take a picture? Sorry? I will, hold, hold on. Okay. Uh-huh, see? This is the same salad. 
No, I can't. Oh. No, put the salad up so I could take a bit. Put your salad up. No, oh, not a nice salad. The real nice. one. Put it up. Okay, okay. Got it. Wait. Okay. Thank you. Ooh. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you for this. Thank you all. Oh, thank you for today. <laughs> thank you for your participation. We're going to be sending you something, a little something for you guys for, for this participation. I hope to see you guys next time. Mm -hmm. uh, we will see if we're going to be doing for January something. Uh, they're going to schedule with you guys. But thank you very much for today. I hope you guys, you know, be safe. Uh, have your fruits and vegetables. This is a, one of the best ways to keep you healthy and safe, okay? Happy holidays. Thank Take you, same to you. Same to you. Thank you, same to you. Thank you, enjoy your holidays. Happy holidays to you and your family. Stay safe. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Judy. Thank you, Marina. Thank you, Loretta. Okay. Thank you, Olivia. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Marina. Um, bye, everybody. Bye, Loretta. Bye. Bye, bye. bye Loretta. Okay, bye. Bye, Loretta. Good to see you. I see you. Uh-huh. <laughs>